the diagnosis of cancer and especially the evaluation of cancer that is removed from the body is a hundred and something year old technique that has advanced very little. So we've developed a technology based on ultra-fast lasers where we scan specimens as they are cut out of women undergoing surgery for breast cancer. But the advantage is we can generate these images in seconds. Inside Science. Typical histology requires overnight processing. So patients are sent home basically after their surgery. And then after a processing delay, a physician looks at the tissue that was removed from the patient and determines whether or not they removed sufficient tissue. And if they did not, they actually bring the patient back. And in the case of breast cancer, they bring quite a lot of patients back and they reoperate on them if they didn't cut enough tissue out. It's a major problem actually to try and make sure that an entire tumor is removed on the first go if at all possible. If you want to evaluate a piece of tissue during surgery, you have very limited options. As a result, a lot of surgeries, and especially surgeries for breast cancer, are done almost entirely based on how the tissue looks to the surgeon's eye and how it feels to their hand. There's no microscopic imaging or advanced diagnostics that are readily available for the operating room. The technology we've developed uses a technique called multi-photon microscopy in which femtosecond laser pulses are focused deep into tissue. So what we've developed is a portable system and it can be used to survey huge pieces of tissue in a matter of minutes. The entire reason that we have this problem with multiple surgeries is just that the slides take a day to generate. So if you can make the slides in real time or you can make an image that's equivalent to the slides, you can simply look at the tissue as it is cut out of the patient and determine whether or not you got all of the cancer or whether or not you've left some of the tumor in the patient. There is a group at Memorial Sloan Kettering that is looking at skin cancer surgery using a related technique and they are having a very high level of success. There are people looking at related techniques for things like prostate cancer as well. In terms of technical developments, I think miniaturization is very important. The, the prototype instrument we're running now is about 250 pounds and it looks about the size of a refrigerator. We're working on versions now that are just a few pounds. I'm also looking into ways that we can do in vivo imaging. So rather than cut tissue out and then look at it on a microscope, are the ways that we can translate this technology into imaging tissue while it's still in the patient. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.